Well, hello everyone. It's so good to uh, to be with you folks today. Uh, it was cold outside. Of course, I live in the state of Maine, so cold is uh, the way it is <laughs> around here. You know, I'm I really am nice and warm. I've got the nicest fire going right beside me, right here. And I'm as warm as can be, but I I can see my own breath. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I am warm, so don't worry. I'm I'm warm, folks. Uh, somebody mentioned how that my my shed here was kind of like a man cave, <laughs> and and my daughter gets me this this sign that that you can hang on the wall. Well, there it is. Maybe I'll get a close-up shot of that. And I've got other other posters you know I'm, I'm uh, in the process of waiting for the Lord to come I'm just working away trying to organize my shed here maybe I should talk about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fiery furnace might be more of a desirable subject <laughs> oh my land but seriously um, you know well, I, I got my glasses, if you haven't noticed. I, I can see so much better, uh, especially at night. I, I needed them for road signs and things like that. I was borderline for glasses, you know, but I can see so much better. It takes a little getting used to. Um, these are the first glasses I ever had, so uh, rather than reading glasses, these are the first. But I can see really good far away. And up close, it's it's got that bifocal thing going on there, and you might know my first glasses. I'd have to I'd have to have bifocals, but I can see real good, and I get used to them real quick. But anyway, you know this. Uh, you know this week I was I was thinking the way that things are going um, in this on this planet that we live on. Uh, I have to, uh, I have to word things just right, you know, so I can say something. But, and you know what I'm saying. Um, but you know, I was telling my wife, I I happened to watch this video. It was the neatest thing. Watching a video on sheep dogs um, is so interesting. These sheep dogs, how they're trained uh, to go after the sheep. And they they run, my land. They're free, full of energy. They run their guts right out of them. I say the, this video that I saw, the uh, the guy that owned these these sheep dogs. Well, he he just simply told them, sick them or whatever. Go after those sheep and uh, and oh, they about ran through themselves to get to those sheep and uh, and they corralled them in and uh, and it showed the it showed the fence as the as the sheep were coming in and then the dog would chase the sheep into this corral thing and where the where the farmer could uh, separate them out you know and i was thinking what a great analogy for today you know seriously i i joke around a lot you know but uh, uh, it is a serious matter for sure. Uh, you look around in the world today without saying too much, and you know what I'm talking about. You know the gate is getting narrower and narrower all the time, and and uh, the corral is coming up in the separation. This is only going to go up, go for so long, and Jesus, Jesus, He will come, and He'll take us home, because. We are not appointed unto wrath, but those that are trusting in the Lord will be those that will be leaving this world when the trumpet sounds. So try not to be afraid. Just trust the Lord. Keep your trust in Him. Keep your trust in the Lord. He will surely see us through. And uh, everything is going to be all right. It really is. Everything is going to be all right. As long as you keep your trust in the Lord. You know, uh, time is very short, folks. And 
And the, the biggest thing I'd like to stress is uh, it's very important to be very strong, to stand strong in this evil day that we're living in. It's very important because time is very short and uh, I tell you what, if a person is wishy-washy at all, you might be carried away with the current um, because it's very serious, you know. Anyway, I wanted to share that little analogy. And I, I wanted to share this scripture, and it just, uh, this scripture came to mind, and it's just so powerful. Very well known scripture. I can see it here. Uh, I can see it with my glasses. It's the lighting. It might not be so good, but uh, I'd like to read this for you folks. Take my head off here. Set it somewhere. Not on the stove. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. <laughs> uh, actually, I could almost sit on the stove right now. I, I better not. <laughs> but this scripture, uh, very well well known passage. Passage. This scripture, very I'm tongue tied, boy. Very well known scripture that I'd like to share, and it's found in Ephesians chapter six. And starting with verse 10, and I want to read to verse 13, the end of 13. You know, this scripture before I read, you know, I really believe that the scripture, uh, it was good for all of, uh, for all of history. You know, ever since it's been written, it's been for people down through the years. But you know, I truly believe because of the wording in this scripture, that it's especially meant for you and I right now in the time that we're living in, in the time of this great corral. You know, you know what I'm saying there. Starting with verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Don't be wishy-washy. I'm very, I'm very serious now. Don't be wishy-washy. This is the time to be very strong, strong in the Lord. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Oh, the devil's been busy lately especially. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, it's so easy to blame people, isn't it? You know, I've been there and I've done that. It's easy to blame certain people, but it, it's the enemy. It's the enemy of our soul that is, that is against us. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. I would say it's the evil day, wouldn't you? You'll be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Having done all to stand. Oh, folks, uh, there's never been a time in world history where we need to stand and to stand firm. You know, I was thinking about all of this this morning, and I, I, uh, you know, the Lord, He speaks to my heart, things that I need to share. To Him be all the glory. You know, to, I'm just being honest. I would be terrified if it wasn't for the leading of the Lord. I wouldn't know what to say. I just, I can be foolish easy enough, but I, I really wouldn't know what to say when it comes to sharing the gospel. I just thank God. I give Him all the praise and all the glory, but. When I was considering these things uh, that the Lord was putting on my heart, uh, he spoke to me this very old chorus, and it goes like this. It's very simple, very old, but it goes like this. I'm in the hollow of his hand. I'm in the hollow of his hand. And I know my Lord's gonna hold me, hold me, hold me in the hollow of his hand. I can't sing right without my hat on. I've got to, I've got to put this hat on here. But 
I'm in the hollow of his hand. I'm in the hollow of his hand. And I know my Lord's gonna hold me, hold me, hold me in the hollow of his hand. I can't believe you can still see my breath. It's, it, I'm warm by the stove, but you never know it. <laughs> Please forgive the steam, folks, but at least it's not mosquitoes. <laughs> I haven't been bit once this morning by a mosquito. Not once. <laughs> no mosquitoes, no no seams. None of those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, them stupid lime, limes bugs or whatever you call I haven't been bitten by anything. Thank you, Lord. So, there's something to be said for cold. <laughs> anyway, you folks, uh, I love you folks, I really do, I, I, and I mean that, I'm not just saying that. The Lord placed a love in my heart for for people, and I, I just can't help it. I can't help it, and I, I don't want to change. I, I love the love that God has placed in my heart, and uh, I know I'm supposed to love my enemies too, now that's a challenge sometimes. <laughs> But you know the Lord helps us, doesn't he? It, it is very important to pray for your enemies. I just thought I'd throw, throw that in there. You know when you pray for your enemies, it helps you. It really does. Uh, it helps you because it kind of it heals your soul when you pray for your enemies. Those that despitefully use you. If you uh, if you treat them well, just the same, and you uh, you pray for them, in so doing, it helps you personally. It really does. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there. But I want to give you folks a, a hug, and I want to pray for you folks sincerely. I I want to pray uh, because uh, I'm looking in my view thing there, and I see why it is my Monitors say bears. And then it dawns on me. Well, there's a <laughs> there's a a sign right behind me. <laughs> oh, precious heavenly Father, I just come to you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Seriously, Lord, I I enjoy laughter and having fun, but Lord, there's a lot of folks out there that are really hurting. And, uh, and Lord, we, everybody needs to know that we are in the hollow of your hand. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Um, you know, I wanted to share this scripture, and I forgot to mention it, but I'll say it in this prayer. Lord, the scripture that came to mind is, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. I hope I quoted that perfectly. I don't know if I did or not, but you, you folks know the scripture I'm talking about. Um, oh, come unto Jesus. If you're, uh, if you're afraid and you're fearful of things that you're seeing, uh, I wish I could say that it was all going to be over really soon. It will be when Jesus comes and takes us home. And he is coming. And this is only going to go so far. It's only going to go on for so long. And Jesus will come and he will take us home. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear. But uh, just keep holding on. Keep trusting in the Lord. Lord, I pray that, that, uh, that all fear would be taken away in Jesus' name. And help people to just completely trust in you, precious Lord because um, you are the only way of salvation and you're definitely the only way out of this situation that's going on with uh, with everyone on this planet lord you're the only way you you were always the only way but uh, in this time that we're living in you are certainly our only hope but Lord, I, I just pray that you would touch each and every one out there, that you would help each and every one 
Lord, to just keep holding on, keep holding on, trusting in you, and stand firm like it says in Ephesians uh, chapter 6. I pray that you would help each and every one to stand firm in their trust and in their belief and their relationship with you. Lord, I pray that you would help each and every one to stand very firm and uh, and not not look to the left or to the right, not be wishy-washy or anything, but just trust the Lord. Everything is going to be all right as long as you keep your trust in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing and answering prayer. Thank you for touching each one out there. Anyways, uh, I love you all, and uh, you all take care, and bye for now. You all take care, and God bless. Try not to be afraid. <laughs>